What I'd like to focus on here this morning is what we think about. What we think about. What fills our consciousness. I want to propose to you that there's three things that you could think about. You can think about how you feel. Good, bad, up, down, happy, sad, whatever it is. You could think about what you feel, and along with what you feel, there are all the subconscious elements of that, tends to drag along some memory. You feel something, and you think about what led up to it, think about your past, and we have an ability as human beings to be enmeshed in that, sometimes in a good way, in a way that brings insights. In other ways, in a way that takes us down, it just drags us into some deep, dark hole out of which we cannot ascend, apparently. We can think about what is in the world in which we live, all the physical reality that we live in, the forms of the world in which we live. Those forms, in some way, were born out of the past, right? They evolved out of the past and then landed in the present moment, and there it is. And I don't know if you find this, but if that's all that's in the mix, you just keep looking at what is, and in some sense, it's irresolvable. It is what it is, after all. It got born into this moment. There it is. There's something to be seen, something to take note of. But of itself, there's no answer in what is. It's just what is. There is something else that we can think about. And that is what is emerging out of the invisible that's available to inspire us. And in that case, we're not exactly thinking about, we're opening up to something that is inspiring our thinking. It's moving our thinking. And then whatever that is, that's being, um, that, that's inspiring us is uh, being informed in our thoughts somehow. And of course, in that thinking process, that doesn't happen without respect for the other two things that we can think about. So it does involve our memory and our feeling. It does involve the practical world in which we live. But now we are opening up to the unfolding pattern that is manifesting in that world. We're not just stirring around what is. We're not just stirring around our memory or our feelings. We are touching into an unfolding pattern. And in that case, what we see in the world is not only what is. We see what it is becoming. We see the pattern of that world. It's an unfoldment. It's evolution. We are opening up to an awareness of that un unfolding pattern. Oh, the world doesn't look so impossible anymore. It isn't just what is, it's what's becoming. And we as a creator have a part in facilitating, stewarding that creation. <laughs> 